It's that time of year again in Michigan. The icy waters of the Great Lakes are starting to thaw out, but there's not as much ice coverage as there used to be. According to NOAA, our ice coverage is slowly declining each year due to climate change, and that is a problem for our shoreline. The ice coverage acts as a barrier between the strong winter waves and the shoreline. So without much ice to protect it, we're seeing quite a bit of erosion. 7 Action News reporter Sarah Michaels is taking a closer look at how our Great Lakes communities are being impacted and what we can expect in the years to come. We're making the drive to Lexington today to revisit the lake here on Shoreline, which saw record high water levels back in 2020. The question today is, how is the Shoreline doing now, three years later, especially with less ice covering up those powerful waves? Within an hour of getting to Lexington, we stop by a community staple off Lake Huron, the Windjammer Bar and Grill. I asked the owner, Richard Laframboys, what people dining in are saying about local erosion. It is a general concern for everybody. I don't think anybody can say that there hasn't been erosion going on. Being on the marina, Richard tells me that he worries about erosion making it impossible for the boats to dock. Back in 2020, when lake levels were at record highs, that didn't happen, but he did need to make adjustments here at his home. Along our own shoreline here, we installed these stone jetties. Building rock jetties and seawalls are some of the top strategies for fighting erosion. Richard says since building his, a lot of the beach has come back and he hasn't seen too much erosion this season. But that's just the thing. Just because you don't see something doesn't mean it's not happening. They're still eroding things. It's just happening underwater and we don't see it. That's Dr. Jim Sullivan, an erosion expert with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. I called him to ask about ice hitting a record low in February. According to NOAA, in the second month of the year, there was only 7% of ice cover on the Great Lakes. Normally, they're 35 to 40% frozen. In fact, ice cover has been largely below average all winter. Without that armoring along the shoreline, uh, big waves are able to get into the, uh, the near shore and hit the, hit the bluffs. Uh, that all of our infrastructure is built on. Climate change is a major factor in the ice decline. Climate experts say as temperatures continue to climb, the ice will continue to decline and our shores will continue eroding. With less and less ice each year, we were expecting having to dredge more in the Great Lakes. Uh, marinas are going to fill in with sediment a lot quicker. Those are some, some of the things that uh, you don't see happening because it's all happening underwater and it's kind of incremental. NOAA reports show that the Great Lakes water levels have cycled high and low for more than 150 years. But climate experts say that climate change will make those fluctuations happen more often. It's projected that ice will continue to decline for potentially two more decades before rising again. The best thing Lexington and other shoreline communities can do now is prepare for that, whether that's through rock jetties building farther from the shoreline or developing policies to combat climate change and ultimately protect our Great Lakes. It's what makes the state of Michigan the state of Michigan. Reporting in Lexington, I'm Sarah Michaels for 7 Action News.